We read that the Lord Jesus endured the cross. He didn't enjoy it. He endured the cross. And he despised the shame for the joy. You see, we live in a society of instant gratification. I want it, I got it. But the Lord says, that's not how it is in my business. First you labor. First you sacrifice. First you struggle. First you weep. And then you rejoice. And then the crown. And then the glory. And then the harvest. Are you praying for someone? And they haven't been saved, and you've prayed on, and you've prayed on, and they aren't saved, and you're ready to give up. Pray on. I had a great uncle, who as a young boy was raised in a Christian home. Now his mother had prayed for him every day, from before he was born until the day she died. He sat under the, the preaching of the gospel by a young preacher with his first series of meetings. Preached them in St. Catharines, Ontario. And after one of the meetings, this young fellow, my great uncle, sat behind, waited for the preacher to talk to him. The preacher pled with him to give his heart to the Lord Jesus, to confess his sins and to repent, to receive the Lord Jesus. And the young man was moved, but he said no that night. And by his own confession, for over 60 years, he never had another anxious thought about his soul. And then he had a heart attack. And he began to think about eternity. He had made a lot of money and uh, had a place up in the Oakland area, had another place down at Palm Springs. And he went down to Palm Springs alone to their little place there. And he cloistered himself he would not answer the phone. He wouldn't eat a meal. He just got with his Bible and he started to read. And he just couldn't understand it. He couldn't get it. He thought he could get saved any time he wanted to. But now as he struggled, he thought, I've missed it. I've lost it. I'm not going to get saved. Hmm. And the, the more he studied, the more frantic he became. Until finally, Sunday evening, he thought, you know, there's a little gospel hall here little wee meeting there. Maybe I'll go out and hear the gospel there. So he went out Sunday night and he sat in the back row and after a few hymns up got the preacher. It was the very same man that had preached as a young man in St. Catherine's over 60 years before. Preached the gospel and my great uncle trusted the Lord as a Savior that night. Within a week that old man was in heaven. Now his mother Never saw that prayer answered. But they were all registered in the heart of God. Pray on.